Hi all, welcome back to our channel. In the previous video, we have discussed about how to create a multi project and how we can assign AS and OS according to our configuration. So, today in this video, we'll be having some brief introduction on what is the hardware configuration of AS and OS in a multi project. So, let's get diving. So, here we are in our workstation. So, we'll quickly open schematic manager. Since uh, this is our last project we have opened, it will directly open the last saved multi project. So, as I told, we are going to have a clear view of what is the hardware configuration offerings for, of AS and OS in PCS server. We can click on this schematic 400 and double click on hard. This will open the hardware window as you can see here. You can enlarge this one by doing this. So, my potent single H processor has two Ethernet ports, X5 and X8. So, if I want to connect uh, this CPU or PLC to my engineering station, I need to configure an Ethernet or Profinet to from this uh, X5 to or X8 to my PC station. Nick card. So, we'll go to this one. So, here you can see some address. General. So here we can configure the address of the this profi net and uh, still it is not in network. So we can change through properties and you can give uh, IP which suits to your requirement. For demo purpose, I will be saving with the same IP. Okay. So uh, here you can see I have a Profibus uh, DP master system. If you want to add any profi net, I mean profi net remote IOS. You need to connect it to any Ethernet port. So you will be having properly net remote IOS. You can see some properties on CPU also. So here you can see generalized information, some startup configurations, startup on power, uh, warm restart. Warm restart in the sense, so CPU will hold all the memory variables from previous shutdown. Cold restart in the sense, it will uh, eliminate all the memory locations and resets to initial state. Cycle drop memories, return to memory area, normal memory area, and interrupts. Here, as I told uh, about uh, OB concepts, here you can set some default OBs and we can assign PAP, you know, process image partitions to that. Some H parameters, and protection. So, uh, if you want to protect your uh, CPU from unauthorized program downloads, you can configure a CPU pro password protection here. Since this is a demo, I'll be uh, changing it to uh, overhead password. Lock on your rings. Yeah, uh, I already shown you these things. So, uh, you can close. So, basically, that field is for uh, configuring some internal CPU properties. So after you have configured your CPU, it is mandatory to save and compile the changes. And then you can download to CPU if it is uh, physically connected to your uh, ES system to CPU through X5 or X8 port. So uh, this is the hardware uh, configuration you need to do for uh, PLC. Then you quickly go to OS. So here you can see, here uh, it is mentioned as configuration. So first main step is like uh, when you are configuring your own OS, you need to make the OS name as system name. So go to object properties. So here uh, my system name was computer name identical to system name. This is mandatory step you need to do when you are configuring the OS. You need to configure the OS name with the computer name. So here you can see. Now you can go to this one. Sorry, uh, here itself. And you can double click on configurations. So uh, this is basically the OS configuration. So uh, as you can see, there is only WinCC application installed in this OS. So uh, a WinCC runtime application is going to run in this OS. That's all uh, it means. So uh, we need to configure physically an IE general, like uh, a physical NIC card need to be assigned to this OS. So here uh, we have a catalog, card PC station, CPN industrial is an IE general. So, I'll be adding the advanced, uh, latest uh, IE general to the slots. So, it will be asking me uh, what is the IP of this IE general and what is the subnet mask. 
so uh, for demo sake i was uh, skipping this part but you need to assign the uh, system ip and uh, subnet mask so here uh, my is general got configured you need to save and download the configuration so like first we need to uh, configure this uh, into a uh, configuration manager also go to configuration you can see what are the local networks so we need to configure in terminal bus so we can see what are the systems available so i'll be selecting 2 one word and press on configure so this will create my configuration so uh, since we didn't have given any ip this is showing an error so when you give the your uh, required ip in ie general this won't be throwing an error so i'll be uh, showing a separate video how we will communicate uh, our es or es station to physical cpu in the next upcoming videos but for now uh, these are the mandatory steps you need to be done and there you have it guys what are the configuration areas we can have in os and es if you want to explore uh, some more points here uh, we can do interval i mean time gap between uh, every cycle and uh, some profinet uh, diagnostics and all we can configure in addition to normal configuration and if you found this video helpful please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos on industrial automation thank you all and see you in the next video goodbye